wonderful world this would be If we all open our eyes to see He is all that we need right now Welcome you to the grand finale of the Islamic International School Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Man find means to always be pleasure when I am with him and goes astray. <laughs> they are the enemy, so beware of them. This is the summary of our credit card expenses this month. This island is only for cash. With Allah's help, this will be a memorable event. Missing the beat, throwing the heat, got up and fight. If you change your life, at least the fire you keep. Cause time is but a token, every man's at a loss. No matter if you're young or وزيوف الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أنا مريم شيخ أدرس في الصف الرابع الابتدائي نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد رئيس الحفل المؤقت وإكواني في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أريد أن ألقي أمامكم كلمات حول موضوع أهمية العمل الصالح إخواني في الله العمل الصالح هو من سائر الأعمال الظاهرة والباطنة والعمل الصالح هو كفيل بإصلاح الحياة الفردي والمجتمع وهذا الإصلاح هو أساس العبادة وهو المؤسل إلى الخير في الدنيا والآخرة ففي الدنيا يتحقق الاتمنان والتعاطف وفي الآخرة يكون الجزاء دخول الجنة وتبزه الآثار أهمية العمل الصالح الذي يهدي إلى الحياة الرازية المطمئنة كما قال تعالى في سورة البقرة سورة رقم اثنان هاي الرقم اثنان وثمانون والذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات أولئك أصحاب الجنة هم فيها خالدون إخواني في الله ولا يكون العمل صالحا إلا بتوافر شرطين الإخلاص لله والمتابعة لرسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم كما قال فسيل بن عياز رحمه الله إن العمل إذا كان خالصا ولم يكن صوابا لم يقبل وإذا كان صوابا ولم يكن خالصا لم يقبل حتى يكون خالصا صوابا قال والخالص إذا كان لله عز وجل والصواب إذا كان على السنة إخواني في الله قد عرفنا أهمية العمل الصالح فعلينا المداومة بالعمل الصالح وفي الكتاب نسأل الله أن يوفقنا بالعمل الصالح اللهم اجعلنا من السابقين للخيرات والهاربين عن المنكرات وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأكرر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The most beloved to Allah is Muhammad Rasulullah وإنك لعلى خلق عظيم Says Allah in the Quran e Karim, promising Muslim Allah grade three, four, and five. Pray to Allah and passionately strive, praising the most beloved of Abdus Salam, on whom was revealed Allah's kalam in a sweet song, Rasulullah Salam. <laughs> Shiro, shiro, 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Friends, you just can't live without them in any aspect of life. Friends are as important as oxygen. So don't you think that's extremely important to choose the right kind of friend? Here is a story of two teenagers, Abdullah and Sadiq, friends since high school. Let us take a sneak peek into their lives. Let's see the drastic changes in the lives of each of them as they choose their friends in their life journey. Scene one at the college campus. We find Abdullah walking around the campus when he notices a small group discussing something. He approaches them. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Can we help you, brother? Oh, yes. Well, I'm a fresher and don't really have any idea of this place. Was looking for the library. Could you help me, please? Sure, why not? Even we are heading towards it. Jazakallah, brother. Come on, let's go. 
They are discussing while walking to the library. Scene 2 Meanwhile, Sadiq, who is also a fresher, is facing difficulties making new friends. He has approached some teenage wannabe delinquents who are eyeing him morally. Zumar, Tariq and Jasim whisper among themselves and make fun of him. Hey guys, can I join you all? But you don't look like you smoke. I do. I mean, I've always wanted to. It's just because of my dad that I haven't tried. You're a free bird, dude. You can't allow yourself to be caged, man. Yeah, better enjoy life when you can, and not when you're old and grumpy. Hmm, I think you're right. That old man is taking me off too many these days. He's just a fly in the ointment. Hey, you're picking a well, man. Welcome to the coolest club in the world, bro. A few months later, term exam results are out and Sadiq has failed in two subjects and got pretty awful grades in the rest. Even this does not bring him to his senses. Scene 3 at home. Sadiq, what is this I'm seeing? You are such a brilliant student. Where did all of that vanish? Where are your ambitions and dreams? Was it only fed on to my expenses? I can see your expenses multiplying by leaps and bounds. What about the growth? I can just see it fall with every passing day. Here, look at this. This is the summary of your credit card expenses this month. What explanation do you have for this? Why, Dad? Why? Didn't you always tell me I should follow my dreams? Well, my dream is partying all night, socializing, hanging out with friends, being cool and popular. Missing the body. Sadiq, what is this I'm seeing? You are such a brilliant student. Where did all of that vanish? Where are your ambitions and dreams? Was it only fed on to my expenses? I can see your expenses multiplying by leaps and bounds. What about the growth? I can just see it fall with every passing day. Here, look at this. This is the summary of your credit card expenses this month. What explanation do you have for this? Why, Dad? Why? Didn't you always tell me I should follow my dreams? Well, my dream is partying all night, socializing, hanging out with friends, being cool and popular. Life is too short to worry about, Dad. All these things like studies and all, all that crap. And if you think I'm useless, then remember the fact that you are the one who has given birth to me, okay? Be calm and hold your tongue. Don't make me lose my head. This is all the influence of your new company. These friends have ruined you and worsened your state. You and your friends are nothing but a bad investment. Don't you dare tell anything about my friends. My friends are not selfish like you. They love me and care for me, and they're always there for me. Control yourself, Sadiq. You dare not speak to your dad in this manner. Do you have an idea exactly how much he has done for you? I know, Dadaji, and Dad, you'll never understand me. It's generation gap. Can we park our coat, Marshall, for some other day?
Scene 4 Sadiq storms out angrily. His family is outraged at his behavior. His little brother Akib, who noticed the bad behavior of Sadiq, immediately calls up Abdullah and informs him of all that happened. Abdullah reassures his brother and promises to speak to Sadiq about it. The next day, Sadiq rounds up Abdullah when he meets him on the roadside. So, how did your papers go? Mocking me? Well, fine. I'm accepting it. I'm a loser for not hanging out with your boring, uncool geeks and hang out with my super cool buddies. You win. Happy? What is the matter with you, my friend? Don't you think you are in much peace before meeting your super cool buddies? Oh, so you're already aware of last night's conversation. Akib, I know he must have done this job. He's very good with gossip work. I hardly care about it. It's very common with popular people. I'm surprised it hasn't come in the gossip magazines. All of this is not the answer what I've asked you. I was in peace, Abdullah. Peace. Just like a corpse that lies in the grave in peace. But now, I feel I'm alive. So you give credit for your life? Your so-called friends have led you astray? Don't you dare tell anything about my friends. Cool, man, cool. Don't blow your roof so high. Let's talk as we walk down the street together. Abdullah and Sadiq walk down the street and stop by the perfume cellar. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? I'm fine. We want to set some perfumes. Yo, buddy. Please, try this, sir. The perfume seller hands over the tester to Sadiq and Abdullah and they try our few perfumes. Then they leave. Ah, oh, what a fragrance. I want to visit Kadir by his shop. I've not met him for months. Blacksmith. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Come here, Abdullah. Sadiq tries to keep himself away from the blacksmith's shop. His clothes get spoiled and his hand turns black. Abdullah, see the reason why I don't want to come here. I don't know why I accompanied you to this filthy place. He spoiled my new shirt. That's all right. Just don't over yet. Let's move on. Okay, Sadiq, now tell me, if your hand is still smelling sweet? The fragrance is killing. It's amazing. This is what I'm trying to tell you. A Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَثَلُ الْجَلِيسِ الصَّالِي وَالسَّوْ كَحَامِلِ الْمِسْكِ وَنَافِقِ الْكِيرِ فَحَامِلُ الْمِسْكِ إِمَّا أَنْ يُحْزِيَكَ وَإِمَّا أَنْ تَبْتَعَ مِنْهُ وَإِمَّا أَنْ تَجِدَ مِنْهُ رِيَحًا طَيِّبًا وَنَافِقُ الْكِيرِ إِمَّا أَنْ يُرِقَ ثِيَابَكَ وَإِمَّا أَنْ تَجِدَ رِيَحًا خَبِيسًا A pious friend is like a perfume seller. He will leave you smelling good and will give you some perfume to try on. On the other hand, a bad friend and evil companion is like a blacksmith. He will leave Can you Can you just stop the... that? These theories don't work with me, buddy. Why do you keep on trying this time and again? I'm telling you because I care. Think about it. You're ruining your life. Five years later, both friends have graduated. Abdullah now works passionately as a full-time Islamic counselor. Meanwhile, Sadiq is lonely, jobless, and bearing the consequences of living a life according to his friends. For the first time in his life, he felt pure regrets. He decided that a visit to a counselor was crucial. Come in. Assalamu alaikum. Sadiq, what a surprise. How have you been? How's life? Life? Abdullah, there's no life. You are right. I'm shattered, scattered. Nothing is left in my life. Nor in, nor out. 
and the ones who were there. My family, my, my dad, my, 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 my dad, Aji. How I miss them today. Do not lose hope, my friend. Look up here. Allah says in the glorious Quran, chapter number 42, verse number 30, وَمَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِنْ مُصِيبَةٍ And whatever strikes you of disaster, فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ It is what your hands have earned. وَيَعْفُوا أَنْ كَسِيرٌ But he pardons much. Hey, my friend, still there is hope. Allah is there for you. Do, 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 do you think you forgive me? Uh, after all that I've done to my dad? Don't forget. Allah is the most forgiving, most merciful. He says in Surah Zumar, chapter number 39, verse number 53. Qul ya ibadi al-lazina asrafu ala anfusim. Say, O my servants, who have transgressed against themselves. La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Do not despair the mercy of Allah. Inna Allah yafur zunuba jami'a. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Inna wal ghafur rahim. Indeed, he is the most forgiving, most merciful. Oh Allah, make me mend my ways and make me choose friends who lead to the right path and make me good towards my dad. Amin. I have always been your friend, Sadiq. So you see, a good friend can go a long way into benefiting you in this life and the next. Abu Huraira reported that the Prophet ﷺ said, Ar-Rajulu ala dini khalili falyanzur ahadukum may yukhalil. Rawah Abu Dawood. A man is upon the religion of his close friend. So let one of you look at whom he takes as his close friend. Sunan Abu Dawood, Book of Manners, Hadith number 483. Evil influence don't come announced. Pray to Allah to give you the best companions and save yourself from evil. Ameen. Magasi <laughs> zameni